Hello, I'm Habiba from Crafty Family Love and welcome back to my little series about how to crochet. Um, ultimately, you'll know how to crochet a basket if you follow along. Um, but of course, you can also just freshen up your technique um, knowledge about single stitches in this series. Um, in an earlier video, I think it was number three, but I'm not quite sure. I'll link to it for you so you can check up if you want to. Um, I showed you how to start a round crocheting project. One is to crochet a row of chains and then connect them with a slip stitch. The other is to start with a magic ring, which is what I did. A magic ring ultimately will lead to a non-existent hole in the middle, <laughs> which I prefer in my projects. Um, so I have worked a one, um, one round of six half double crochets into a magic ring and then I have um, also already crocheted the second row um, of half double crochets. Um, in this case I placed two half double crochets there is one and there is the other in each half double crochet from the first round. So here is another two into the first, two, two and so on. So now I am having two options. I can either um, crochet in joined rounds, which means I would close this gap here with a slip stitch, which would ultimately lead to a seam in my work. Like if I would do that round after round after round, I would have a seam <clears throat> whenever I close the row with a slip stitch. The other way is I could work in continuous unjoined rounds which eventually would lead to a spiral look. So for our basket we will work the bottom in joined rounds. We will gain the height of the basket in unjoined uh, rounds. So you need to know about all techniques. So um, if it were unjoined rounds you would simply um, work your next half double crochet into the next um, stitch of the previous row. Now we're in row three. This is here. It would be like that. And then the next here. This is how you do the unjoined rounds. And for joined rounds you will perform a slip stitch into the first stitch of the previous row, which you know how to do, but if you don't, I'll link to the tutorial. And there you go, now you have a complete circle. For the next row, um, we will need to build the height for the stitch. A half double crochet requires two chains in height, one, two, and then we can start crocheting into the next stitch, which is here. Now what we will need to do in order to not end up with a bowl but with a circle is we will need to increase. You are increasing if you work several stitches into one stitch of the previous row. In the second round of this circle I already mentioned that I worked two stitches in each stitch of the previous row. So in the in the third row this means we will we will have double crochet one and then we will um, 
half double crochet two in the next stitch. Whoops. And then half double crochet one into the next and then we will increase again in the next stitch which which means we will place two half double crochets into the next stitch and so on and so on one half double crochet and then two in the next I'll meet you at the end of the round Okay, so now I've, whoops, I didn't. Now, now I have crocheted the last half double, double crochet of my row and I'm ready to do the slip stitch into the first stitch, which can be a bit tricky to see. So this is why I want you to look closely. Um, I have undone it once, so this looks not so nice anymore. This is your chain one. This is your chain two, so this is your first stitch of this row. This is where, now you have two V's here. This is the last stitch of the second row. This is the first V here, is the first chain, the second, and this is the first half double crochet and this is where we're going to place our slip stitch. Let's see if they don't fit both in there. <laughs> to close the row. Okay, so I will um, make sure to write down the pattern on how to increase a circle so it will, you know, will be an even flat circle and not bending upwards in a bowl. Um, you'll find the directions in the info section below. Thank you for watching this tutorial and if you continue to watch this little series you'll be able to crochet a basket of any size you want because I don't give you just the simple pattern. I teach you how to uh, make it work with the yarn and the size you want. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye!